Hello guys and girls, what's up? I'm Andrew Bopoli and I will show you how to break your iPhone or iPod Touch any generation and any version. Actually, I will not show you as I have already jailbreaked mine, but I will make you familiar with jailbreaking. I will tell you about two different jailbreaking software and which should work on your iPhone or iPod Touch. But before telling you how to jailbreak, I will tell you some after jailbreaking effects. Well, after jailbreaking, I found that my iPod battery has become weak and processing has become slow. Well, I couldn't able to use some apps which I used to use before jailbreaking. For example, I used to play Asphalt 5, but after jailbreaking, I couldn't able to play that game. So these were the disadvantages. Well, there is a good thing that there is one, uh, one more app store other than the Apple App Store uh, with few good apps. Well, now I think you should know your iPod version and uh, which generation iPod or iPhone you have. So to do that, uh, I will show you how to check your version of your iPod and iPhone Touch. To check the version of your iPhone or iPod Touch, go to Settings and then go to General and then go to About. Uh, well, uh, uh, the version is 4.2.1 and the model is MB. Well, it means uh, it is a second generation iPod. Uh, well, I don't care if you see my uh, serial number. I really don't care about that. Well, there are two good software to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. One is the Green Poison, another is the Red Snow. Well, uh, the links are given in the description to uh, to download the software Green Poison and Red Snow. Uh, uh, you can just download from here if it's Mac or for its Windows. Actually, I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again. Well, uh, Green and Poison is used to jailbreak a uh, fourth generation iPhone or iPod Touch, and it can jailbreak uh, uh, three also. Well, I'm not exactly sure for that, but most probably it will jailbreak third generation also. And Red Snow is made for jailbreaking first generation and second generation and third generation also means it jailbreaks first and second generation i'm sure for that and probably it jailbreaks third generation iphone or ipod touch also well the links are given here to download uh, it for uh, mac or for windows you can just download it it's very easy to download so actually i've already downloaded it i don't need to download it again i'm just showing you that these links uh, really works. Uh, actually, I will just show you the software. Well, Green Poison is a very easy software. Just uh, open it and just click on jailbreaking and just do the steps which did say. Just it's saying press uh, sleep button or home button. Well, uh, the home button is the in the bottom of the iPhone or iPod Touch and the sleep button is on the top. So just you have to just uh, follow these rules, uh, these steps, and you will be able to jailbreak it. And you, if you are having a second generation or third generation, well, you have to use a Red Snow, and it will ask for an IPSW soft firmware. Well, to download IPSW firmware, the link is given in the description. I will show you the website. This is the website and the link is given in the description. Just uh, which iPhone or iPod that you have, just go and find the firmware. Uh, it's uh, here. So actually I had iPod second generation. Uh, yeah, it's here second generation. And I was having 4.2 version. So I downloaded this 4.2.1. So I have already downloaded it. Uh, it's a 300 MB approximately file, so it takes uh, pretty much time to download it. So you can download the IPSW and uh, you're right to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch with the help of Red Snow. Well, that's pretty easy. Just browse the IPSW file from where you have downloaded. I downloaded it in the downloads. So here is the file. It takes a few seconds for processing and etc. It is asking for which model do you have. 
I have MA model and most probably MC model is the third generation so I'm clicking no and then click next as you can see it's all given and it's very easy it will take a uh, few minutes for processing and after that you will have to follow the same step as in clean poison the steps are exactly same now but in the last step keep holding the home button for more than the time uh, it shows uh, keep holding it till a black screen comes showing some data in your iPhone or iPod touch but don't forget to save the data I mean to see the songs videos and apps in your device it will not if you will not save before jailbreaking you will lost it hope you will have you will able to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod touch easily have a happy jailbreaking and thanks for watching the video thanks a lot